Well, the crisis in the Middle East is really hitting home tonight as the patriarch of much of Syria and Iraq is here visiting Bishop Nicholas de Marzio. That's right, Katie. Patriarch Ignatius Joseph Hunan is here in Brooklyn for a couple of days, mm -hmm. and we've got a chance to sit down with him at the bishop's residence for him to bring us up to date on what's going on in the Middle East. We Christians in the Middle East, we are facing the most uh, dangerous uh, situation and the most challenging times for our survival. Not because uh, we didn't have uh, times where Christians were persecuted, oppressed whatsoever, because it's spreading and face to the whole world and the world can do nothing because we are defenseless. So the, even the civilized world doesn't care. One of the cities in Patriarch Yunnan's care is Mosul, captured by Al-Qaeda. They've ruled Iraq's second largest city with a sword. All of Mosul's Christians are gone. No Holy Mass was celebrated for the first time in the history of that city, which was at once uh, one of the largest community uh, of Christians still living there. We have in Mosul at least uh, 25 churches. They have been abandoned, and some of them uh, put uh, in fire. Patriarch Yunan says he and his fellow patriarchs have warned of danger, starting with the so-called Arab Spring, embraced by the West, hoping peace and democracy would come to the Middle Eastern countries. We used to tell them in Europe, please be careful, because there is uh, the rising of fund Muslim fundamentalism uh, among the Sunnis. We, they think that they have to rule all Muslim communities in the world. Now, the so-called opposition in Syria, as well in Iraq, mostly are those extremist uh, factions. The patriarch admits deep disappointment with the United States and other Western powers, the suppliers of the weapons now being turned against them. The Western countries who were not so faithful to their principles, democracy, freedom of religion, freedom of conscience. They were mostly interested in the oil and opportunistic, uh, you know, uh, dealing with uh, those countries. Yet still, he has come to America to ask for help, not from the leaders, but from the people. I was told it's better to go to bring the voice to the American, especially people, American Catholics. They, they are very good Catholics. We, we know that by experience. We have to t tell the silent majority to keep praying, praying, praying that the Lord Jesus will wake up uh, for of sleeping in, in the boat, in the, in the rear of the boat, because the, uh, the apostles were drowning. And we have to keep praying. From the Bishop's residence in Fort Greene, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh. And I'm Ed Wilkinson.